So first we'd like to discuss the Strike Force fights from last month. They went really well. Oh, we were luckily it? able to attend that event and it was a great time, great vibe in the audience, and of course great fights. So Oh yeah. Yeah, these girls, they definitely round up the audience more so than any other guy I've ever seen. All the trash talking before was worth it. Oh, it's it's totally totally worth Did that. you guys know that Ronda Rossi actually had speech impediment when she was younger? When she was wow. A kid? Wow. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't that know that was that problem now. No. <laughs> no, not at all. That was really awesome that it was a main card to showcase. Like, just that fight was perfect yeah. to be the main card. Everybody says girls shouldn't be the main card, and look at how it ended first round. I know, first round. Oh, the arm bar is oh, you see that crazy, all. crazy. Yeah. Well, she got her into an arm bar twice. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. the second one was the one that uh, had her win the match, but who wants to get into a Ronda Rousey arm, arm bar? You no. know that's exactly what she's going to yeah. go for. Yeah. And she and tried it, and like you said, she tried it twice, so yeah. it's not like she... Like, Misha Tate yeah. should have known that was happening. That should have been the first. I mean, she got out of it the first time great. Yeah. I, I have to say. Yeah, even then, her elbow was. was yeah. Uh, uh, feel good. But the thing is, Misha Tate is a grappler, and that's yeah. where she's going to go to. You know, and Ronda Rousey is a grappler, but Ronda Rousey is a higher quality grappler. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It was a great fight, though. I yeah. loved that night. That was, that was a lot of fun. Everybody in the audience was there to see that fight. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, right. the other ones were just icing on the cake, but that everybody was there to see, see that, that one. Love right. that. Yeah, Great I don't know, but everybody was just kind of still day. walking around, talking. The minute these two girls came out, everyone just sat down, shut up, and watched the fight. Well, I think all yeah. that trash talking, they definitely wanted to see what was yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She definitely knows how to build the fight. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. A lot of a lot of fighters that were there that night too, mm -hmm. and so it was good to have that in the in the audience too. Mm -hmm. So, I uh, wanted to discuss Overeem. Alistair oh, Overeem is yeah. supposed to be fighting soon for the uh, belt, mm -hmm. but now who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dana White was not too happy. So. No, not at all. I, I mean, I don't think he's going to be in the UFC anymore after that, because that's the second time that he's not been able to, or that he's been tested, like, tested high. Mm -hmm. So what's the normal amount? That the no, the normal that the um, UFC lets in is 6 to 1, and he was at 10 to 1. For his testosterone level. Right, for right. his testosterone level. So, so that's obvious that it's not natural, that something else is happening. Mm -hmm. Look at his right. size. <laughs> yeah, I mean his size is huge. Yeah. He is a huge guy. Well, and he's a big guy as it is. You he know, is. even if you watch his older fights before right. he was, quote unquote. And it's sad. I mean, it's so sad too because he is a good fighter. He's a great and, fighter, and I wanted to see him. And I Junior wanted Santos to see that so badly. Yeah, yeah and um, they had just. I mean, and they tell everybody that they do random they do. drug tests. They do. So, they all know. so it's not like you don't know. Yeah, exactly. that you're gonna get that done. So. Just sucks for him. I mean, even with the... Sucks for us, too, because we can't I see know. it. I so, know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's the same as, you know, with Diaz. With Diaz, that's yeah. what I was going to say. But yeah. Diaz now, he's got a lawyer, and the lawyer actually says that the stuff that they found in his bloodstream was the way after effect, and hmm. actually proving that uh, uh, whatever it is he smoked, it was... A month ago. Yeah, months ago or something, yeah. and those were inactive metabolites. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's I guess good. he's still working very hard, right? Yeah, he's gonna actually gonna be in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournament in uh, May, I think. Because he just got his black belt, right? No, that's Nate Diaz just got. His oh, black belt. Nate Diaz. Nate just got... already had his black belt. Nice, nice, nice. Nate, that's awesome. Yeah, Nate just passed. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. So coming up on the 14th, we have the Fuel Fight card, right? Yes. Uh, I know Alexander Gustafsson and Tiago Silva are headlining that yep. card, and that is going to be a good fight. I really like yeah. to watch both of these guys fight. I yeah, they're both very, very aggressive. Yeah. So <laughs> it's going are... to just be a stand-up battle. <laughs> I mean, you know, Alexander, you know, does more submissions usually, yes. but they're both just going to come out and start swinging because... You know, Tiago, he just likes to stand and pick you yeah, apart and beat the crap out of you. That's just <laughs> how he is. Definitely. So, I, I say Tiago. I say Tiago, too. Tiago. Gustafsson has a lot of potential, but I don't know if his potential will surpass Tiago's skill. Yeah. And aggression. Right. True. True. And then the other fight on that is the Brian Stan. I like Stan a lot. I'm yeah. a huge fan. I Stan do, fan. too. He... I, I mean, I, I, I like that he's an all-American. I think that's kind of cool, you know, the army, right. every time he comes out, the whole army and exactly. the military is all into him. So, 
I mean, that's going to be a good fight, too. So, Carl, we good. They're both great yeah. strikers, so we'll see. I mean, it would be a nice exchange of, of yeah. punches. That yeah. Night, definitely. yeah. <laughs> that's going to be a good stand up yeah. whole card. It's going to be good. Because then after that, we have Paula Tiago, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Lots of Tiagos. Lots of Tiagos on that card. Oh, great. I know. That, that'll be fun to watch. In the interim until the actual fight card for John Jones and Rashad oh, yes. Everybody's yes. talking about this. They have been tweeting about this nonstop. Both are so excited about it. You know, I mean, these guys they should be should train together, yeah. and now they're at the point. Where That's what is really are awesome for other. us, but really kind of. I mean, it's good for them too. They know they've trained with each other. They know their weaknesses. They know True. their strengths. Right. But I think both of them have different camps now, so there's yeah, a lot of things that they don't know about each other. So it right. could be very shocking, but it could be just extremely awesome to watch yeah. both of them just pick well, each other. Jones overall, he is awesome to watch. He him. is. He's, he's got the speed, he's got the um, agility, he's got the great reach. Mm -hmm. I mean, but Rashad Evans does too. That's the funny yeah, thing. Jones, Jones is just so almost awkward in a way. <laughs> and just so, I don't know, different. Yeah. He's very anyone, different, but I definitely else, so I don't think anybody should, you know, underestimate Evans at no, all because I don't think anybody does, he but. is definitely it, he's it, capable of taking it from John Jones. I just right. I say Jones. I, say I just think yeah. he. I just want him to keep going because the yeah. more he goes, the better he. He's so interesting to watch. I think he's got a great heart and he's a great fighter and he's mm -hmm. just got that speed that right. like nobody else has at this time. I mean, it's you know maybe his age, yeah. but regardless, he still has yeah. everything going. I'm for just him looking right now. forward to what else we can expect from him because exactly. I think he's just getting better and better. Yeah. And I think he has a lot of potential, fight, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's even he's stepped into his full potential yet. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah. There's things that I don't even. Think he knows so, he can do yeah, it. Yeah, so. I am really looking forward to seeing him at his peak. Yes. Of what can he actually do? I think a lot of people are. And so this yeah. fight is actually a really big fight for him. I know he knows it, but it's probably bigger than he even knows. Yes. Right, which is crazy because John Jones is amazing. Yes. And everybody's still, I mean, he's he's not at his peak, but it's crazy that we think that yeah, right. since he is so much better than most fighters out right. there. It's true. So he's gonna be at his at his weight. He's gonna be like Anderson Silva, I think. Yeah, I think so. I, I just think, think right. he'll be. He's nicer. And he seems will be. more humble and <laughs> he does. more down to earth than Silva. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I do like Silva a lot. Yeah, I like Silva a lot. Silva might talk a lot of trash, but at the same time, he's uh, very respectful of all his opponents. Like, that's you know. true. That's true. Yeah, definitely good. So you know that's coming up for the fights next uh, next weekend, right? No, two weeks. Two weeks. Now. April twenty first. Um, but next. But before week. that, we have <laughs> yes. Golden Gloves. Oh, 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 How's training girl. going? Training. Mm -hmm. Oh, training. Training is, <laughs> training is going definitely. It is. It's hard. It's a lot of sweat. It's a lot of sprints. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of things that, you know, I didn't even experience last time that I was training. Wow, yeah. So the diet is a lot harder this time. I feel like I have a lot more to prove. True. So Do I you know, know who you're fighting yet? Um, I don't know what she looks like. Okay. So, but I don't know anything about it. You don't know any skill sets or anything like that. So, so that's no. what's difficult about Yeah, I was going to say, it's blocks. difficult you when you're, you're early on in your career because you don't really have tape to watch. You don't, exactly. you can't really. Yeah, right. Well, what I know is, you know, she's got two arms, she's going to throw punches. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so, you can't for me. anything, really. Yeah, yeah, and that's what my coach has been telling me to, you know, be prepared for anything, but at the same time, you know, watching how a lot of other girls fight and fighting last time is kind of giving me an idea of what I can expect but at the same time the guys that I spar with um, they are a lot better than pretty much any girl fighters out there so yeah you know and if I can stand ground against them I can stand ground against the girls just well, do one of the ones you've been sparring with is also in Golden Gloves yeah. as well, right? Yeah, except he goes easy on me. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 200 pounds in my face, I'll be knocked out before. Right. <laughs> yes, Mitch Nix. He, he, is is also hold, he also holds the middleweight belt. Yes, he does. Amateur. Mm -hmm. so and he's he, very fun to watch. Oh, yeah. He very is. Fun. He is a lot of fun to watch. He is. Um, right. he, uh, his MMA fights, his won them all. Last one, he won by a knockout. Was it a knockout decision? I think it was a knockout. I think, <laughs> I think it was a knockout. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he This is, kid is somebody to watch. I yeah, he, he is, is somebody to watch because I swear I, he 
he picks up fights like this. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be somebody that we might actually see in UFC and sit here and talk about it. I <laughs> hope so. <'cause> he, <laughs> I, I, really I hope so because he is a good guy and yeah. he's just fun to watch. So mm -hmm. that'll be good. Yeah. So that's next Friday. Yeah. No, next, that's Saturday. next Saturday. Next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the Golden Gloves. So if I anybody's around. Yeah, yes. anyways in the Chicago area. It's at Gordon Tech, right? It's at Gordon Tech High School at California Edison. At nice. 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Great. That'll be a great night for actual fights, the live. Yeah, and we have the fuel the fights. fights. And then after that, of course, UFC. So we'll all be anticipating the fights for the next couple weeks. Yeah. Good. Lots of things coming up. We'll discuss the next Yes. <laughs> yeah.